Hi everyone, my name is Professor Landa Terrio and I will be teaching the second half of this course on contemporary issues in women and gender studies. I thought it might be nice to touch base and uh, develop this short little video giving you uh, a bit of an introduction to as to what to expect in uh, Act 2 <laughs> of our, our class. Uh, over the course of the semester. So as you know, it is a split-taught course. So Dr. Leanne Sheshar will be taking the first half of the course and getting you started. And in week seven and the rest of the class will be me. So I thought it would be nice to um, make a bit more of a formal introduction, tell you a little bit about what is coming up in Act 2, and um, maybe some of the expectations that you can have for me as an instructor and that I tend to have for my students. So I thought it would be great to let you know about that. So uh, I don't know if you've had an opportunity to take a split talk course before. Uh, I was well into my graduate studies before I had an opportunity to uh, do something like this. Um, but they can be really great. Uh, so this semester, we are all fortunate actually to be together. Um, Professor Sheshire and I um, are good friends and uh, we really enjoy this topic and uh, talking about um, teaching and um, everything together. So I'm really excited to be part of this uh, team taught experience over this semester. So I've been here at Georgian for, this is my 11th year uh, of teaching at this institution, but I've taught at Humber, uh, McMaster, and Western uh, in, uh, in London, Ontario. Sorry, my, <laughs> all my devices are binging away. I'm sure yours are doing the same too. Um, so I teach mostly liberal arts electives here at the college, which means that I get to have the most fun. Uh, I get to teach courses that are uh, supplements to uh, some of the programs, and uh, I do tend to focus on things that uh, are um, just really intellectually stimulating and interesting, so my courses uh, tend to be about philosophy, so if you come across uh, anything that has philosophies of, and then the the topic, then likely you're you're getting a me, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but um, I thought too, it might be nice to know where I am coming from and what approach that I do uh, take to understanding issues in women and gender studies. So my background is dual. Uh, I have uh, my undergrad and some grad work in sociocultural anthropology, which is the study of human existence, uh, and my graduate, my other graduate work in Western philosophy. So I love thinking about people. I think it is safe to uh, surmise. <laughs> but uh, I do enjoy thinking about women in particular. Uh, and my approach and background uh, has been actually through phenomenology and existentialism uh, were, were my areas. I'm so sorry about the binging and the beeping. I'm going to quiet that down. <laughs> um, so embodiment and um, feminist epistemologies will be something that will come up quite a lot uh, in our course together this semester. And uh, it really does inform the basis of my work uh, when I do academic research, which tends to be sort of at the intersection of uh, ethics and uh, existentialism. So, for example, my, um, my thesis uh, was looking at 
a an analysis of women's self-help literature around um, being a single woman. Uh, so I was looking at the work of uh, Simone de Beauvoir in particular and um, looking at her conceptions of love. So hopefully that gives you a, a little bit of a uh, background, at least intellectually, where I'm coming from and the fun and intellectual shenanigans that we can get up to uh, when we address um, our topics that we'll take on together in the second half of the course. Now, on a personal note, if you want to know a little bit about me and what's making me tick, now keep in mind this is like thick pandemic stuff, so a lot of the things that I really enjoyed doing um, that tended to be more active and social are, are all in the bin right now, um, but let you uh, in on a, a few of my hobbies and likes and uh, joys right now. Um, I'm married to my best friend. Uh, we got married in 2010, even though we are high school sweethearts that uh, didn't connect for about 17 years, and then we connected and got married. Uh, it's a super duper cute story. I'll tell it to you if you ask. Um, but here we are looking super cute on our honeymoon in Iceland. <laughs> Uh, the other loves of my life are my puppies. Uh, we don't have children, but we do have fur babies. So this beautiful beastie beast here is Miss Rosie. And our newest addition to our family up here in the front is Poppy. Uh, and she's uh, super cute, and they keep me very busy. Uh, some other things that I'm finding joy in right now uh, are kind of thinking about gardens and gardening and floral arrangements. Uh, so this was a little floral, floral arrangement that I put together uh, a, a few weeks back that uh, brought the house a little bit of happiness. Uh, I do love a good dram, uh, a nice whiskey. Uh, is uh, makes me happy. I, I like both American style whiskeys, Scotch whiskeys, Irish whiskey. I, I like pretty much it all. <laughs> uh, and I think my recent pandemic addiction has been a subscription to uh, BBC Four on all our streaming services between watching kind of endless episodes of The Simpsons and uh, My Name is Earl. <laughs> on the Disney Channel, BBC Four, history documentaries, uh, and stuff about culture and art uh, tend to balance out <laughs> all of the uh, kind of repeat mindlessness that, uh, that we're all, I'm sure, living through right now in uh, pandemic era life. So that's a little bit about me uh, in a nutshell, just so you know who was who is this lady <laughs> teaching you stuff? <laughs> um, I did want to take a moment just to address a few of your uh, probably questions about what's going to change in the second half of the class. And I'm very happy to report not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, this is great news uh, for everyone involved, um, especially for you students. Um, Dr. Sheshire and I have talked a lot about how we can ensure that the course maintains consistency and, um, so that's comfortable and accessible for all of you. Uh, so there will be no changes to course structure or layout. So the syllabus and calendar will not um, not change unless there's something really major wrong with it. <laughs> um, the textbook and the readings will remain the same, uh, as will the assignments. So you will find all of that information within the course calendar, which is on the syllabus. Uh, the only thing that is new in Act 2 will be uh, office hours. 
So I believe um, Prof. Sheshire will be having her drop in WebEx office hours on Wednesday afternoons from 3 to 5. Mine will also be WebEx on Wednesday afternoons, but mine will be from 1.30 to 3.30. And of course, by appointment only. Um, so if that block of time doesn't work for you because of your other commitments and classes, don't worry. You can still uh, reach out, send me an email, and we can arrange a time to chat on WebEx. So the last sort of piece that uh, I wanted to talk to you about was just some of the expectations that you can um, think about having or at least know about uh, as we head into our Act 2 together. So what you can expect from me, uh, you can expect to receive the same quality feedback as a, a professor. Um, I am really committed to ensuring that you get um, good feedback and if you would like some more I'm always happy to to address that with you as well. You can expect dynamic instruction. Um, we do take on a lot of really interesting topics and questions in this course and I do strive to find um, new and interesting ways to be able to deliver those ideas um, and within the structures of assignments and our course materials in a way that makes it interesting and accessible to everybody. And then finally, you can expect from me an approachable and experienced professor. Um, while teaching a, a course in women's studies has been a, a little while for me, I, I have taught them in the past, uh, but it's been a few years, uh, I do have a, a lot of experience with this kind of online teaching with these sorts of topics and issues. So I'm, I'm really hoping that you um, touch base with me and, and um, want to engage and work together on getting to know the arguments and the ideas uh, behind the issues that we're going to be discussing in this class. Finally, what I expect out of my students, of course, is that students try their best to engage with the course concepts and materials. This stuff can be a real challenge, but I find that um, for students, practice makes better. The more you can engage with it and try it out in your life and in your sort of sphere of, of influence, the more interesting and lively these things become. A genuine willingness to grow and challenge yourself is a really important part of getting an education. So putting your ideas out there while they're scary, uh, you are going to have a safe place to be able to do this and to be able to share and challenge each other um, to think more critically and clearly about issues in gender and women's, um, women's studies. And then finally, what I do expect from my students is to um, be able to take responsibility for their experiences. Um, so if you're struggling with the ideas in the class or, or struggling with understanding topic instructions or discussion board instructions, um, please reach out and uh, ask me questions. Uh, I'm here to help you. And the only way to do that, though, is for me to hear from you. So try not to wait until the last possible minute if you have questions that are, um, that are really problematic and, and that you need help with. Please contact me early. I'm so happy to help you out. Um, so that's it for this little video. I thought I try to keep it short and sweet, under 15 minutes. Um, I'm so excited to be able to uh, 
work with you for the second half of the semester, and I'm ready to rock this. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to do this. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, either before or after we um, connect in, in week seven, please do send them my way. You will find my contact information in my bio uh, in, on Blackboard. Uh, other than that, that's all for now. I'm hoping you have a great day and uh, that this video has been helpful. All right. Cheers.